What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports Channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you an NFL prediction video on Jacoby Brissett. I believe he'll be signing with the Arizona Cardinals this offseason, and let's talk about it. So, before we get started, I want to point you guys to my YouTube short section. I put out two handfuls of NFL videos, NFL predictions, a couple of discussions also, predictions on Tremaine Edmonds, uh, Ziz Alshir, um, Leonard Fournette, a couple other guys also, and I also did a discussion on OBJ and him going to a certain team. So check out that, guys. Uh, much appreciated. Let's get into this video. So Jacoby Brissett, who to me is clear as day, the best backup quarterback slash spot starting quarterback slash, slash bridge quarterback in today's NFL. People always want to throw in him and Teddy B's name together. It's not even close. It's not even close. I will take Brissett a million times before I even consider Teddy B, honestly. Um, he, he Brissett just has better play and also just a better track record to me personally. So uh, he's one of you no, know, he's someone I really respect as a quarterback. Tries his best, tries hard, puts the team in situations you know where sometimes even the starting quarterback ahead of him can't do. You know, so got a lot of respect for him, man. I think he goes to the Cardinals this off season. It just makes the most sense to me. You know, uh, we all know. Kyler's out for most of the season, probably about half the year, somewhere around that time, give or take a few, uh, give or take a few weeks. Uh, I would probably pin him, me personally, I'm not a doctor, but I would probably pin him to come back around Christmas, maybe before, maybe a little bit after, somewhere around that range. So, uh, so we'll see where when it, when he comes back. But all in all, we all know he needs a Cardinals need a starting quarterback for most of the season, at least the first half of the season, and Brissett should be that guy. Um, he'll he'll be the best option. He's the most trustworthy guy. You know, you also have guys like Sam Darnold Baker, who I like a lot. They're the new crop of of, of Brissett's former starters. Or well, Brissett wasn't really a, a former starter uh, full time, but except for that year for the, for the Colts. But outside of that, you know, Brissett, I'm not Brissett, Darnold and Baker might be the new premium backup guys for for the for the rest of their. Career. Uh, futures, you know, I think Baker might get a chance to start this season with the Bucks. I have a video out on that, but if he doesn't get that, could our rooms about Drew Locke or someone else getting it or Blaine Gabbert? But uh, if Baker doesn't get that, if Sam Darnold doesn't get a starting spot somewhere, which he probably won't, you know, those two guys are in line to be the new, you know, Brissett, Teddy B type of guys, long term premium backup guys to have on your team. But I just think right now the best option for the Cardinals is a guy like like Brissett. Um, as I said, he he's 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 proven. You know, I think Baker's better than than Brissett is, but Brissett's more proven at doing this. You know, uh, Baker only had a good couple, a good handful of games with the Rams last year. With uh, trying to trying it with the Panthers, he wasn't that good. You know, so uh, is it scheme? Is it team? We're not quite sure with uh, Baker. But we've seen Brissett in multiple spots, multiple teams, multiple schemes, and he performed pretty well, you know. And I think, you know, I don't know what the Cardinals, Cardinals will have weapon-wise for him to work with, but whatever he has, I think he'll be pretty, you know, I think he'll be pretty fine with it. He'll be solid with it. You know, uh, I don't expect nothing crazy from him, but I do expect him to win them a couple games or at least keep them close. In a if Jacoby doesn't go to the Cardinals or they know end up going with someone else like Sam or Baker, I would like to see him go, go to the Dolphins. Uh, I originally, about three months ago, early, early in this, uh, even I think during, during the playoffs, yeah, three months ago should put us in the playoffs or late late playoff stages. I did a video on Baker going to the Dolphins as as a backup. You know, so uh, you know you can't really trust Tua right now the way he looked last year and the and the, and the concussion stuff. So you know, if the nine not nine if the Cardinals do go somewhere else other than than Brissett, I'd love to see him go to the um, to the Eagles, maybe to the Dolphins. You know, I think Gardner Mitchell could be moving on somewhere else as well. He's a free agent also, so I think you know somewhere with a winning uh, winning contender type of team needs a backup like Brissett. You know, uh, and I think the Dolphins, Eagles are a pretty good landing spot if he doesn't go to the Cardinals. Um, you know, Raiders maybe. You know, so I, someone like somewhere like those situations. You know. Because he deserves to be in, in a winning situation, dealing with the winning team. But as of right now, you know, as I said, B 
being the best at what he is, he might get called for one of these tough jobs. And, you know, going from the Browns last year, who were a pretty good team, they just couldn't get it right, to the Cardinals, who was a pretty sorry team, no matter who they get in for agency, they're still going to be pretty sorry. You know, they're probably going to trade away their best weapon, DeAndre Hopkins. They have Marquise Brown left. They have Zach Ertz, James Conner, and that's about it. <laughs> and that's about it. So, you know, and those, those three names, Conner, uh, Brown and Ertz aren't the best. You know, they're pretty decent, but they aren't, they aren't the best. So, you know, we'll see what he can work with if he does go to the Cardinals. But I'm kind of hoping he doesn't. But, like I said, I, I do think they're the best fit for, for each each other right now. Um, you know, so. But we'll see where it goes, man, where they might move on to. You know, they might go younger. You know, because there, there is a situation where I could see Baker go. You know, because Baker does have some familiarity with Kyler Murray. He was a starter over him. At that time, time in um, OU a, a few years back, you know, Baker might be comfortable giving the reins back to Kyler, you know, so I don't know. Or, or maybe Sam get, gets a spot there as well. Um, so we'll see where it goes, man. But uh, I would love to see where Brissett goes, you know, hopefully a winning situation. But, you know, if, not, if, I, want, if I want my video to be correct, it will be to the Cardinals. So but we'll see where it goes, man. That's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. If Jacoby doesn't go to the Cardinals or they know end up going with someone else like Sam or Baker, I would like to see him go, go to the Dolphins. Uh, I originally, about three months ago, early, early in this, uh, even I think during, during the playoffs, yeah, three months ago should put us in the playoffs or late late playoff stages, I did a video on Baker going to the Dolphins as, as a backup. You know, so, uh, you know, you can't really trust Tua right now the way he looked last year and the, and the, and the concussion stuff, so... You know, if the nine not nine if the Cardinals do go somewhere else other than than Brissett, I'd love to see him go to the um, to the Eagles maybe to the Dolphins. You know, I think Gardner Mitchell could be moving on somewhere else as well. He's a free agent also, so I think you know somewhere with a winning uh, winning contender type of team needs a backup like Brissett. You know, uh, and I think the Dolphins Eagles are a pretty good landing spot if he doesn't go to the Cardinals. Um, you know, Raiders maybe, you know, so I, someone like, somewhere like those situations, you know, because he deserves to be in, in a winning situation dealing with the winning team. But as of right now, you know, as I said, being the best at what he is, he might get called for one of these tough jobs. And, you know, going from the Browns last year, who were a pretty good team, they just couldn't get it right, to the Cardinals, who was a pretty sorry team, no matter who they get in for agency, they're still going to be pretty sorry. You know, they're probably going to trade away their best weapon, DeAndre Hopkins, they have Marquise Brown left, they have Zach Ertz, James Conner, and that's about it, <laughs> and that's about it, so, you know, and those, those three names, Conner, uh, Brown, and Ertz aren't the best, you know, they're pretty decent, but they aren't, they aren't the best, so, you know, we'll see what he can work with if he does go to the Cardinals, but I'm kind of hoping he doesn't, but like I said, I, I do think they're the best fit for, for each, each other right now, um, you know, so, but we'll see where it goes, man, where they might move on to, you know, they might go younger, you know, because there is a there is a situation where I could see Baker go, you know, because Baker does have some familiarity with Kyler Murray. He was a starter over him at that time, time in um, OU a, a few years back. You know, Baker might be comfortable giving the reins back to Kyler, you know, so I don't know. Or, or maybe Sam get, gets a spot there as well. Um, so we'll see where it goes, man. But uh, I would love to see where Brissett goes. You know, hopefully a winning situation, but, you know, if, not, if I want if I want my video to be correct, it, it'll be to the Cardinals. So, but we'll see where it goes, man. That's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.